How about 916 Radio Graffiti? How's it going, Ghost? Uh, listen, I wanted to talk to you for a second about um, those conspiracies regarding the moon landing. When you first discussed those, I thought you were totally crazy. But when I started to look into it, I started to discover some pretty scary things about that whole business. I don't know if you know oh, yeah. this, actually, but go right ahead government... and explain what you go ahead and explain what you found. I mean, because this is why I don't believe a word NASA says. Go ahead. Well, the thing that really shocked me was. Um, NASA actually got Stanley Kubrick to fake the moon landing, believe it or not. He was in charge. And well, that's, that's you, speculation. I mean, uh, uh, I no, mean no, listen. No. Uh, let, let, me, um, let, me, um, let me back that up with the evidence, all right? You know how much of a, um, how much of a um, perfectionist that Kubrick was in all of his movies and whatnot, the thousand shots he'd do for one scene? So in order to fulfill that perfectionism, he had them drag the entire set up to the moon to fake the moon landing. I mean, I could not believe this when I heard it. Oh, just shut up. Shut up, you stupid moron. You see, it always takes a jag off like this to sit here and, you know, make some kind of fictitious, ridiculous little side jab at the actual fact that NASA's a complete lying organization, all right? It's a complete lying organization. You know, one question I'd like to ask why doesn't why don't any of the damn astronauts ever pan to the other side? Why don't they ever pan the camera to the other side? You know the whole fourth wall thing. You know, and for you folks that are unaware, uh, you know that's how they videotape or video record uh, sitcoms. You know that fourth wall. You know you're viewing the people on like a sitcom from the fourth wall that doesn't exist. That's why the camera can never show the fourth wall because it doesn't exist because that's where the cameras are at. How come there's not been a damn astronaut that hasn't been out there and just panned a, a damn camera, you know, into the black space, into black... I mean, you know, they're, they're, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And not to mention, folks, uh, I mean, if you take a look at the footage of the moon landing, it seems as if the camera crew was already there to basically witness this spaceship that was designed by NASA to land on the moon. So, you know, apparently Neil Armstrong and these guys were not the first ones on the moon. It was obviously the damn, uh, uh, the, the, the camera crew. And I don't know if you saw when they blasted off from the moon, they left the camera crew there as well because they have a perfect pan upward as the damn uh, whatever spaceship they used to supposedly get to the moon blasted off, and there's a pan going upward as if they left the damn camera crew there. It is the fakest crap I've ever seen in my life. How come we haven't gone back, all right? How come we haven't gone back, for Christ's sake? Answer that. How come we have not gone back to the goddamn moon then? I mean, remember, uh, they made so many trips there in the, in the 70s, and, and it, it, even it was the last uh, moon trip was like 1981 or some kind of garbage like that, for Christ's sake. How come they haven't gone back? Supposedly there's a goddamn moon buggy over there. Remember they were playing golf on the moon? What a, what a joke. What pure mockery, for Christ's sake. And we're supposed to believe this crap? We're supposed to believe this garbage? I don't believe a goddamn thing that NASA says. I think it's a completely deceitful organization. And if it was up to me, uh, and if I were Donald Trump, I would just liquidate freaking NASA. I would sell all the garbage that these idiots have built as nothing more than set props, as far as I'm concerned, and just sell it all to the highest bidder, for Christ's sake. These people have robbed the American taxpayers of trillions of dollars, all right? I have no respect for NASA. I have no respect for the supposed scientists at NASA. I have no respect for the fake-ass uh, astronauts at NASA. And, you know, speaking of fake-ass astronauts, y'all remember the Challenger explosion, for Christ's sake? Huh? Do y'all remember the Challenger explosion back in 85, 86? Y'all remember they blasted off some goddamn rocket and it just blew up all of a sudden? Do you know that uh, the majority of those people, except for one, they can't find one of the people that were in that rocket are all still alive, you stupid morons? I mean, give me a break! 
I mean, you can't make this crap up, man. They're still alive. So, look, you people can sit here and say tinfoil hat all you want to, all right? But all you people are viewing when you're looking at any NASA crap is CGI animated garbage, all right? And I don't believe one bit of it, one bit of it, for Christ's sake. I don't believe one bit of it. And that's all I'm going to say about that crap. I'm serious, all right? I'm not joking. And somebody's asking, well, why did we stop faking them if they cost almost nothing? Because we there's too many people that have caught their fakery. That's why. There's too many people that capture their fakery. I mean, there's too much there's too much at stake for these idiots to continuously put on this charade. Why haven't they gone back? Why haven't they gone back to the moon? I'm asking a question. It is 2016. Why haven't they gone back to the moon? I'm telling you this right now because they can't. All right? They can't go back to the moon. I mean, did you see that ridiculous, disgusting, uh, supposed pass off the ridiculous moon landing that China recently did? Why do you think that they don't want to broadcast China's uh, landing on the moon here in America? Because it's ridiculous. It looks fake. It's, it looks faker than fake. Jesus Christ, man. Anyway, look, I don't want to talk about this anymore because every time I talk about NASA, you morons, you continue to want to believe it. You continue to believe that some dumbasses uh, that are just sitting around, you know, uh, pulling out hyperbole of mathematics out their ass to justify why these ridiculous theories of Copernicus and, and, and all this other crap are actually in existence, that they actually are real, for Christ's sake. It's just pathetic. I mean, why do you think that they have this dumb show, The Big Bang Theory, and this, you know, this idiot, this asshole that's one of the main characters, Sheldon Cooper, is supposed to be some brilliant mind, and yet he's just a half a fruit bowl that just sits around and, and waxes his carrots on Saturday night and does his laundry and, uh, you know, plays video games, World of Warcraft, goes to Comic-Con and all this other crap, and yet he's supposed to be some brilliant mind. Why? Because this moron could sit back and just cal compute and calculate a bunch of stupid-ass mathematical hyperbole so that he can justify some whacked-out crackpipe theoretical idea that on paper makes him look brilliant, but in actuality it's just utter crap. It is utter, utter hyperbole crap. Just like Stephen Hawking. As a matter of fact, let's get some inspiration from the smartest man in the world, shall we? This is supposed to be the man that's the expert on the universe, the man that says there is no God, that, uh, you know, the, the, the cosmos blew a fart, Big Bang came around, and lo and behold, we got the goddamn universe out here. And, you know, I find it funny that the man that is the least likely candidate to go up into a rocket to see if his goddamn theories are valid, is the man that's supposedly the most brilliant man as it relates to space, all right? I mean, just give me a break, all right? Give me a freaking break. Put, put on Stephen Hawking, engineer. This is Stephen Hawking, a legitimate voice. This is his real voice before they put in that voice box that they pre-program for him, and they keep him alive with a damn hover around and a goddamn breathing tube. Put it on, engineer, goddammit. Hey, listen to his translator. There's a space outside here. He makes it fairly obvious that that's what Stephen's fault is if he needs. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. Get it off, engineer. God damn it. Yeah, that's the most brilliant man in the world. This is the guy that's supposed to be Mr. Brilliant of the galaxy, of the universe, and quasars, and black holes, and all this other crap. What garbage. You understand that? What garbage. All right? I'm not joking. 
And look, somebody's asking me, what about NASA's mission to establish a human settlement on Mars? You know that George Bush Sr. signed something in 1992-91 to make sure that that particular supposed voyage was going to be a reality by the year 2000. It is now 2016. They keep pushing back that supposed human mission to Mars. And let me tell you something, folks. Have you all seen that footage? that has been exposed, and it was on Google Earth, for Christ's sake. I mean, I thought that a lot of the NASA footage of, uh, of Mars looked like Nevada. No, actually, it's Greenland. That's right. Uh, you know, take a look at it for yourself. There's NASA equipment. There's drones on, in, on Greenland, and it's all captured on Google Earth like a bunch of idiots. All right? I'm just, I'm just saying, man. Y'all want to continue to believe in NASA that's your effing problem, all right? I'm not going to do it, all right? I'm not going to sit here and allow a bunch of, uh, a bunch of manipulative masons to manipulate my belief system because that's exactly what these idiots are doing. They are manipulating your belief system into believing that they are gods. They are secular gods, all right? I mean, if they control your belief system, then you don't even know who the hell you are. So, you know what, screw NASA and screw anybody else trying to influence my perspective on this life. Anyway, I didn't mean to go off on that whole soliloquy about goddamn NASA, but I, I don't like them, folks. I think that they're a waste of the biggest con game in world history. All right, I'm serious. The biggest con game in world history NASA space stations, the whole nine yards. Biggest con game in history. Jesus Christ. Hey, you know, somebody's saying, hey, they're saying there's another moon that's orbiting Earth. Why are they saying this crap? Hey, they're, you know, why do you think that NASA even entertains the idea of aliens, you morons? You know what I mean? I mean, every one of these UFO assholes that are like, oh, look, look, NASA, look, there's this little thing that's moving. You don't think that they purposely put that there? If they utilize their own footage, all right, they utilize their own footage to exemplify supposed UFO phenomena, then it proves, right, that there's space. If there's an existence of UFOs, then there must mean that space. Do you understand this? And I'm telling you this right now. There are no UFOs, all right? And if there is any UFO phenomena, it has everything to do with our military or, in the case of the, uh, in the, case of the precarious situation that happened in the Temple Mount of Israel, I don't know if you folks are familiar with that UFO phenomena, which I believe is a little different than what these morons that are trying to claim are UFOs that are coming into the world and, and visiting us, for Christ's sake. It's spaceships, which is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. All right, they're, they're coming here and visiting us. I mean, what a bunch of pompous assholes we think we are. You know what I mean? They're coming here and visiting us, for Christ's sake. I mean, what are they doing? Are they playing spades with us, for Christ's sake? Huh? What do they play? Well, I'm serious. Well, what are they coming here to do? Jesus Christ, man. But look. Uh, there were or there was an orb of light that was captured by about eight or twelve different sources of people in Israel over the Temple Mount. Now this orb was a very weird phenomena. It uh, it hovered over the Temple Mount for a good amount of time. Then it flashed uh, a, a humongous flash of light and then burst into the sky. And then once it went into the sky, all of a sudden a light show of all kinds of different lights happened in the air. Now. That, my friends, is a lot different than what supposed UFO phenomena is, all right? Now, once again, I don't want to explain to you what I believe those that is, because then you idiots are going to start, you know, claiming I'm tinfoil hatting even that regard. But let me tell you something right now. There is a spiritual component to this life. And the reason why you have NASA trying to push forth this terra firma idea of planets and exoplanets and moons and stars and quasars and all this other crap is so that you people uh, are spiritually dumbed down, that you have no idea what spirituality is, and that you are completely ignorant of the laws of God, the laws of God of this world, all right? I'm serious. I'm not kidding around. 
That's why these people want you to believe that, hey, we're going to space, we're gonna we're going to Mars, we're gonna go to the moon, we're gonna we we're being visited by aliens, by intelligent life. Because they are trying to spiritually dumb you idiots down, and they are doing a great job of doing it. All right? They're doing a great goddamn job of doing it. I'm serious, man. I'm not joking. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let go of this subject already because I know that there's people already getting scared. I see them on Twitter. Look, it's all right, all right? Listen, you know what a Sprite is? And I'm not talking about the drink, asshole, all right? I'm talking about a Sprite of electricity that just randomly comes down from the sky that creates the electricity of uh, lightning. Okay? Take a le- just just watch sprites. All right, go do a YouTube search of sprites, and take a look at how these you know electric phenomena just come from out of the sky, out of nowhere. All right, just come out of the sky, and then they enter into the atmosphere. They're in the clouds. They create the lightning. Now, what the hell is that? And not to mention, folks, what is our sun? Huh? What the hell is that thing? Y'all actually believe that it's some uh, gaseous ball burning at 93 million miles away from the Earth? I mean, do you actually believe that malarkey? I mean, seriously. I mean, have you ever looked at the sun through a telescope? I mean, of course, you you need uh, you know some kind of uh, you need some protective uh, a protective layer of ultraviolet. Uh, diffusing uh, lens work on the uh, on the telescope but if you look at the damn sun it's just a freaking ball it's just it, it, i don't I, there, you don't see the burning and all this you know, dramatic garbage that they try to show you that nasa sees i mean i'm going to be completely honest with you folks not even scientists know what the damn sun is all right they don't know they don't know what it is so, look, that's all I'm going to say about that. But let me tell you something right now, all right? The sun is something that is worshipped. The moon, it is something that is worshipped by the people that are in charge of our planet or our country, of our our world, or whatever you want to call this place, all right? Believe me. Not to mention the North Star. I mean, these are all deities that are literally worshipped. I think you people need to do your goddamn homework, man, all right? Jesus Christ, I'm serious. I think you need to do your damn homework. And for all you people that are like, oh, I can't believe you, you're you're going crazy, ghost. Well, then piss off! All right, I'm serious, piss off! I'm not going to sit here and believe whatever, what some government agency tells me. I'm not going to believe what these damn lamestream, mainstream media, state-run media tells me, for Christ's sake. All right, I have my own mind. I can use my own power of observation. I can use my own senses. I can use my own investigative prowess. I can make my own decisions, for Christ's sake. I mean, that's the whole essence of freedom, isn't it? I mean, I'm a free thinker. I'm a free thinker. Like our forefathers, the Freemason. The Freemasons. Anyway, let me let me go on for Christ's sake. Uh, you know it's already six thirty-five out here in Austin, Texas. Uh, yeah, I'm getting the hell out of here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm talking a little bit. I'm kicking some knowledge out here, and you've got jerk dicks on Twitter trying to tinfoil hat fedora my ass over here. Well, then shove it up your ass, all right? If you don't like what I'm saying, then don't listen. Don't listen. No one's asking you stupid dumbass losers to listen to me, all right? If you don't want to do the research, if you don't want to do your own homework, well, then you stay with your blinders on, you stupid morons, all right? You keep living a lie. You keep living a lie, for Christ's sake, because what you don't understand is the basis of this whole reality, the basis of this whole system is nothing but deception. Do you understand that? It's deception. It's lies. It's utter lies. Jesus Christ, man. I'm not joking around. It's utter lies. 
So you people can continue to live your, your fantasy land, all right? You go right ahead. I could care less, all right? That's why, I, you know what I do? Even if I know this for a fact, even if we know that NASA is a complete bunch of fakery, there's nothing you can do about it. What are you going to do? You know, what, what are you going to do? What I do is utilize the truth and then base my whole life on the fact that this whole goddamn place is an utter lie. So what I do is try to make my life better, try to make my life that much more lavish, because, hey, I mean, what difference does it make? That's why I'm telling you, you have to be a capitalist, baby. You have to be a capitalist, because... When you delve in realism, and I'm, t I'm talking about realism philosophy, that's what I delve in. I don't play in fantasy land like the majority of people in America, like the majority of the people in the world, for Christ's sake. I am a realist, and I base my decisions, I base my life, I base my financial life, I base my social life, my personal life, based upon these observations. Do you understand that? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, for Christ's sake. So that's all there is to it. As a matter of fact, I'm getting the hell out of here. You people are sitting here thinking that, you see, and this is what the thing about it is. You people, uh, you take a couple of classes in astronomy, and all of a sudden you idiots think you're freaking experts, for Christ's sake, all right? I mean, give me a freaking break, all right? Why haven't we gone back to the moon, assholes? All right, why can't the people on the International Space Station pan the camera and instead of facing towards the Earth? Why don't they pan it the other direction, in the direction of the, quote, fourth wall? Because they can't! Because they can't. All right? Why can't any astronaut, uh, you know, basically have a camera phone or, or a camera and put it right there towards the window as they're blasting off into supposed space. Huh? Jesus Christ. I'm just saying, why can't we do this? We got the technology to do this crap. Why? Because they don't want you to see what's going to expose their lie. And somebody's asking me, well, what do they do with all the goddamn money? I sure guess is as good as mine. All right? Your guess is as good as mine, for Christ's sake, folks. I'm telling you this right now. Who the hell knows? They went into somebody's pocket. I'm telling you this right now. I don't believe a word. I don't believe anything NASA says. You people could sit here and talk all the garbage you want. I don't believe it one goddamn bit, all right? All right? And somebody's saying that we have stuff on the moon that's visible with telescopes. Oh, yeah? Show me that. Show me that picture right now. I want to see the dune buggy right now on goddamn on the moon, you idiot. All right? You cannot see it from telescopes, you stupid asshole. I, you see, that's another lie. That's another lie. Oh, I, I, know, I saw the buggy with my telescope. Yeah. Oh, you know, I saw the American flag with my telescope. Get the hell out of here. You people are idiots. I'm telling you this right now. You people are morons. All right? No wonder you, you, no wonder you believe this guy here. No wonder you believe this guy. All that jabber, and he said there's a space outside here. There's a space outside here. Oh, yeah. He makes it fairly obvious that that's what Stephen's fault with if he leaves. Yeah, that's exactly. You see, and you see, they had an interpreter next to Stephen Hawking for the longest time, and you see, they couldn't do it. They couldn't pull it off. Because give me a break, that idiot didn't say that. He's just jabbering. He's probably saying, please help me change my diaper. Yeah, please help me. I'm hungry. I'm a malnourished wreck. Please help me. And he's got this interpreter. Oh, no, there, there's a space outside here. Oh, yeah, there's, there's quasars and black holes. I mean, no wonder they programmed it with the freaking voice box, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ. 